Do you want me to do it? You do it. I will do it. You do it. You do it. No, you do it. Hello, everybody. It's Arif. And I'm Ricky. And we are. It Gets Better UK and In Wonderland are proud to present another episode of In the Kitchen with. So today we have here with us the beautiful and wonderful Dan from the Great British Bake Off. So today I'm going to teach you something really easy, so you can definitely do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. So what do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 what do you mean? Well, actually, to be honest, the main thing I want to teach you is I know. You know, everyone loves a game cake. But mm -hmm. we're gonna need a cake first. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you like the easiest cupcake recipe. Great. Like, the easiest one. I've tried to do cupcakes many, many times. <laughs> they always terrible, they always sink. My kids can make these. Like so like <laughs> if you can't make them like we're in we're Sorry in Ricky. Um I'm trying. But this is just gonna be a simple vanilla cupcake and you can like you can take this recipe, you can add like lemon flavouring or orange flavouring, so you can like make it different flavours, but it's just a basic, basic cupcake. Great! So we'll make it quick and then we can get on with the decoration. And we're literally just going to weigh all the ingredients straight into the bowl and mix it. That's Ooh, it. That's amazing! It. That's the whole thing. Sorry if you can do it too. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm usually the one who cooks for bakes. Bake! <laughs> bake! He bakes and I cook. If you can read the numbers on the scale, you can make this. Fine. Probably, okay. We don't have this fancy scale, I have to we say. Have, we have the plastic ones, you know, with the, yeah, the with little the eye roll. Good luck. Um, so yeah, so all you need to do before we start, just make sure you're preheating your oven. We're going to put it 170 Celsius, 150 fan. Get that good and hot because you want it to be properly up to temperature by the time the cupcakes go in. So we're literally, we're just going to weigh in equal weights of self-raising flour, yeah. caster sugar and unsalted butter. Um, the butter should be sort of room temperature, not super squidgy, but it should ooh, it should be soft, not cold out the fridge, otherwise this won't work. So first of all, can you open that for me? Yes, I'm going to open the sugar. That's flat. It's flat. It <laughs> 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 cool. Right. I knew that, I was a jump. Can you do me 125 grams of self-raising sure. flour, please? Flour, three cups. Look at that! <laughs> you can see that by the time Thank you. Um, I'm not going to bother sifting that because yeah. I don't like sifting flour. And then this one, you did 125 grams of sugar, please. 125, so thank you. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That was good. Good enough. That's perfect! Look at that! <laughs> It's 250 guys! How does it possible? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna need um, 125 grams of the softened butter. Mm. We'll just cut it up um, slightly. Yeah. Because um, we don't want to give the mixer too much of a hard job, do we? How are your kids? <laughs> How are my kids? Yeah. They, my kids are just like their parents, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, <laughs> no, 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 they're great. They're absolutely great and I love them to pieces, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, we got, I've got two weeks of half-term break next and I'm going to have them all the time and that'll be yeah. uh, cool. So far, we've got sugar flour butter and we also need two large eggs. Do you want to crack them in because I really don't want to get my hands back? Two eggs, fold in gently. <laughs> Best way to crack eggs yeah. is on a flat surface because... I ain't never done that. Should I do that? Yes, please. Do you believe me? <laughs> yes. If you crack it on the edge, there's a chance the splinters of the shell will go up and break. Whereas if you do it on a flat surface, it should just crack. Can I'm, I do it myself? I'm quite scared. I do so it. just do it like that. Yeah, we'll have a messy like... one. <laughs> do you want to do it on the plate? And then, yeah. And then, and then you, you to... know, it's you. Two of them. Oh my god, you're right. That's magic. I know. I've, <laughs> done, I've done this before, right? <laughs> <laughs> These are good potty eggs and the chickens have eaten like sort of n nice natural foods and that's Ooh. what makes the yolks so orange. Um, the only other thing we need to add is a little bit of uh, vanilla flavouring. If you wanted to flavour them with anything else, um, you could do get that instead. But not chocolate, that's a whole different thing. Um, so we'll add a splash of vanilla, um, about a teaspoon, and... That's about a teaspoon. <laughs> um, 
I, I, I never, you. I never mess with Villa. We believe you, yeah. My heart is within too you. Much is, yeah. Too much is better. Too much is better. Too much. Um, and then <laughs> I'm just going to add a teaspoon of uh, baking powder because we're doing it all in one method. You need a little bit, a little bit more baking powder. I love this smell of vanilla. Vanilla. If you, so self raising flour, just in case you didn't know, it's got baking powder and salt in it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why you don't need to add salt. Um, mm -hmm. baking, that has enough baking powder if you're making like a creamy method cake, but if you're doing it all in one, you need a little bit more raising agent. So we'll just Very good tip. And then now, what I'm going to do is whack that on the mixer, and I'm literally going to mix it until, so I'll start off slow until it's all incorporated, and then speed it up until the lumps of butter have all disappeared, and then stop. We forgot to add milk. <laughs> Here's a little bit. Two it tablespoons of milk. <laughs> right, the next job is just to get in some paper cases. Right, can you help me with this? Oh, oh yes, oh. please. Maybe. Come on. Maybe. Give me help. Do something, Maybe. Come on. So where did you two meet? Can I taste <gasps> Why don't you wait until we finish loading <laughs> the cases before you try and eat it? We met at work, actually. Yeah, yeah, we have a video about that, so you can see. If you want to watch it, there will be cards up there. <laughs> he yeah. kissed me! There you go, in the changing room. What? So how do you meet your husband? That see, how I met my husband is a really boring story. But we want to try it. Just make it a little bit... No, 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 but it's literally, my friend met him in a bar, and was like, oh, I have a friend I think you'd like, and took his business card, and then I called him. That's literally not that. That's not a cute story. Yeah, like, business cards. No old fashioned no, business no, cards. You see, business business cards. Cards. That's that's cool. cool. And when did you get married? Uh, so we've been married for eight years. <gasps> yeah. So we've been together for twelve, almost twelve years. Oh eight my years. god. Yeah. Uh, so cute. Long, long time. Long time. That's beautiful. <laughs> it, is. No, it, 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 it doesn't seem like that long, but when you're like 12 years, you're like, damn, 12 years. Oh. Like, I can't believe my oldest is seven now. Oh. Oh. Was it difficult to start I mean, in the process to have kids? <gasps> yeah. We want to. <laughs> we want kids, to. We're just thinking about Not yet. Not yet. In a couple of years. But then I said, like, having kids, if you want to have kids, you can totally do it. Like, it's, it, it's a hard slog, but you can totally do it. If you want to, you can totally do it. But, um,. You may find slightly less time to go down the gym, I'm just saying. <laughs> How did it get better for you, by the way? Or oh, when? When? When did it get better? I think things are different now. Um, it's still very, very hard to grow up as an LGBT person. It's still very, very difficult because you grow up in a world where society is telling you that they want you to be straight and normal and that everything else is not okay. Um, so I think everyone grows up with that difficulty. But you know, I grew up in a time when you couldn't get married, you know, you couldn't legally adopt kids. Absolutely. Um, and I just thought, well, I'll never, I'll never have these things that I want to have. It just will never happen for me. And, um, and just slowly over time, I just, I got to have everything I wanted anyway. And it was just, you know, <laughs> but it's, you know, it didn't all happen at once, but yeah. it's, you know, now I have a life and I could have never envisaged as a, as a 12 year old kid, looking at what my life might be, I never would have envisaged that I could have had this life. Um, should we get some? Yeah, maybe get it's going. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, so the, we've got to now distribute the batter evenly between the paper cases. Evenly. That's, that, that, that's, that's the, the moment. That's a word that yeah. is not in my vocabulary. You know, <laughs> evenly and now. Um, and this is the way I was taught to do it with the teaspoon. Do you want to show me how it's done? <laughs> oh yes, please, we'll give you that. Please! So let's try. Just get that off there. Too much, right? So you want to fill them about two thirds, three quarters full. Um, we can always go back and add a little bit more to each one, so it doesn't matter if it's not. You don't get it perfectly right the first time. So do you prefer baking, or do you like everything? In like uh, I, I prefer baking. Baking is my favorite thing to do. I think it's because, like, I do like to cook, mm -hmm. but like. You, like everyone needs to eat every day, so cooking can be kind. Of, sometimes a bit of a chore. Like you're like, oh, yeah. I have to cook dinner. Okay. Whereas for me, baking is like it's just fun stuff. Like it's only oh. fun stuff. Yeah, I get it. And um, although my husband doesn't like sugar, what? Wow. At all? Yeah. Oh. So like his idea of heaven is cheese. So like should, I'll make a cake and he'll be like, no thanks. Yeah. yeah it was, it's, uh, oh. Luckily, I have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> So these, we're going to need to leave to go completely cool before we can uh, decorate them. But the next job is to make 
Okay. Oh. By the way, you're welcome. Right? <laughs> Can you see how even how they are? How perfect they are. Look at that. Yeah, it's bigger than fast. Well okay. done, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Our next job is to make the buttercream. Yes. Uh, this is the most important part of this video. This is where hopefully I'll actually teach some people something. <laughs> right, so most people will just make a simple buttercream with butter and icing sugar and mix it together. I think that's gross. Sorry, I hate that. <laughs> I'm okay. not into that buttercream at all. So we're going to teach you how to make Swiss meringue buttercream. Cool. And honestly, I've tried every other buttercream, and this is the one now I come back to, and I only this is the only buttercream I make anymore. So teach you how to make this. This is the only buttercream you'll ever need. Um, I'm going to use the bowl of a stand mixer to make this. You can use any other bowl, but I would just say um, you'll want to put this in a metal bowl rather than a Pyrex bowl because that will retain a lot of heat and it will take your meringue a long time to cool down. So try and use a metal bowl if you can. Um, so we're going to set up a bain marie, and we'll get this water bubble. Bagno Maria! Bagno Maria! Yeah. Why are we doing we a Swiss meringue and not an Italian one? Because even though people think the Italian meringue is better, it actually They don't think... What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god! No, making these... Okay, you go away. <laughs> 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 no, making... To be honest, I can't taste the difference between a Swiss meringue ice cream and an Italian meringue ice cream. Okay. <laughs> if you do the Italian meringue, you have to like measure the temperature of the sugar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's, it's just complicated and you might have to buy equipment that you don't already have. You don't need to do that for this. Okay. So we're going to cool. do this is much, much easier. Cool. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to make a lot today because we're going to make a bunch of different colours. Um, but it's the wow. same formula every time. It's, I call it a one, two, three Swiss meringue ice cream. It's one part egg whites, two parts sugar, three parts butter. So if you've got, for example, this much egg whites, you just double it for the sugar and then triple it for the butter. That's all you need to do. For this, now I'm going to use 250 grams of egg whites. And that would be about eight egg whites. Okay. And unless you've got a plan for your egg yolks, like you're going to end up wasting them. Yeah. And like, I don't like that. Um, I mean, obviously you can make custards, creme patissiers, ice creams, curds, but a lot of people will just say, I know those egg yolks are just going to go down the sink and that's so wasteful, so yeah. please don't do that. So 250 grams of egg whites. So we've got one part egg whites. Uh-huh. So we're going to do two parts yes. sugar. So can you grab the sugar for me? And I need 500 grams of sugar in there. Do you think you can manage it? All we need to do is melt this sugar. Very good. Um, now what I'm going to do is, because I don't like to wash up, <laughs> um, I'll just stand this directly over the thing and stir it. And all I've got to do is stir it until the sugar dissolves. And you will feel it will be really thick. And then all of a sudden, it will just become thick. Right, so it's gone really watery now. Yeah. It's not thick anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shut, attach this to the stand mixer. I'm going to beat this for 10 minutes. I'm going to whisk this for 10 minutes until it is completely cold. So now we are going to put in 750 grams of um, butter. This is more buttercream than we will need. Okay. But one thing, I always make a ton of buttercream because um, it freezes really well. Oh. It, it freezes perfectly. Now people say they have to put the butter in slowly. If you've got a strong mixer, I don't think it makes any difference. I just shove it all in once. I really do. Like one packet at a time, but I would literally just shove it all in, but I don't yeah, I don't do it slowly. So with the mixer running, we're just gonna shove all this butter in. Do you know my mother gave me a really good piece of advice? Um, she said like just don't get married till you're 30. I got married when I was 28. The butter is all in now. It'll go through a phase where it'll look like really soupy and you'll be like, oh no, it's gone wrong. But if you just keep beating it, it will then come together in the buttercream. So now I just need to flavour it. I'm just going to chuck some vanilla. About that much. That's nice. I love it. I love it. Mm. And we'll give it a whisk and then we'll give it a taste. <laughs> Can I try it? I'm, I'm like totally intolerant, as you all know, because I say in every single video, but I'm going to try it. So you can't try this. I'm going to try it. <laughs> um, I can. I am going can I? With yeah, your finger? You can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't double dip, it's fine. <laughs> I love it! It's, it's good, good, right? Mm. Oh my god, I can just eat this one. Okay, bye! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! This is amazing, I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> Just bear Why in don't mind, you bake these? Just bear in mind, this is 50% butter. Whatever! <laughs> <I> <laughs> okay. like, Whatever! Like, don't go nuts! <laughs> now, you could just, obviously, as I said, this freezes really well, so I tend to make a load of it. Like when I make pastry, I like, just make a load of it and then freeze it. Um, but we're going to split this now. We're gonna, we, we need to get gay in here. I'm known for my gay baking. 
So we're gonna we're gonna make a, some rainbow buttercream, and we're Ooh. gonna make these some gay ass cupcakes. So you can actually watch his wonderful video with Miss Cracker. Oh yes, of course. And this, it will be just up here. Amazing bread. Gay bread. Gay bread. Gay bread. Gay bread. So, <laughs> this is my niche, just gay bacon. <laughs> We're not going to need all of this buttercream, but let's just make it easy for ourselves. And um, we'll go for six colours. And one thing I would say is like we're obviously doing like a rainbow, we're doing six colours because we want to make them gay. Yeah. But even just doing it with like two or three colours which yeah. is really, really effective. Um, and especially if you've got like a, if you have a party with like a colour theme, like it's a really, really easy way yeah. to get like a strong, uh, like a really strong effect with actually very little effort. Do you want to start colouring? Can something? I do green, please? He loves green. <laughs> I went to blue. So what's your plan for your future? What do you want to... Do you, uh, now that you did Bake Off, uh, do you have any plans? To be completely honest, the reason I did Bake Off was that I was kind of a bored housewife and I was like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, now my kids are sort of going to school and I was like, I need something to do with my time. I do a lot of recipe development, like That's I'm great. sort of doing recipes for Sainsbury's and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like home fried flour and yeah, lots of lots of little things. So um, it keeps me, you know, it's basically become a full, not quite a full time job, but you know, it's well, no, it has become a full time job actually. Yeah. So, we yeah. would buy a book of yours. Yeah, absolutely. So when is that coming? Well, I I'm sort of playing with ideas for a book. I sort of I think I'm just going to be called Making Yourself Bitch. <laughs> we love that. We love that. We love that. Please. Are you watching um, RuPaul Drag Race UK? Obviously. Obviously. Who is your favourite queen? Oh god, it's so hard. I love... I'm so torn because I love Cheryl Hull and I love the Vivian and they're kind of like... One of these Yeah, yeah, yeah but I like them both! <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I think I like them all. To be honest, I like them all. I don't think there's one that I don't like. I think they're all fantastic. For our next job, we're going to get these into shopping bags. Woo! Bye, Bim. Bye, Bim. Woo! And, um... I'm really bad at piping thingies. We're not piping anything yet, we're just getting into bags for now. Because this is the... I'm really bad at piping in the bags. I mean... Good to know. I know. Like... Right. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this before. I... Yes. Right, yeah. <laughs> He's a mess, really. But everything says you have a good technique. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you there! We need to get some um, cling film. We're going to put the colours on a mat together, roll it up, and then we'll put it into our new pastry bag. So we're actually going to pipe it all from this bag, um, and I would use, you need a big star tip. I really like this one, because it's got lots of ridges. That's perfect. This is a French, put a French star tip. Um, so we'll get that ready in our bag, and then we can prepare our buttercream. So what we're going to do is just pipe some of the colours in a line on the parchment. So we've got our red. It's raining guys! <laughs> it's raining man! Hallelujah! It's not raining man. No, it's just raining oh, rain. It's raining water. Rain. There we go, we've got our rainbow. When we're going to roll this up, we're going to try to make it into a, a ring. And then, we're going to do this quickly. So we're going to put this inside the bag. Would you like to have a go at doing yeah, one? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, I want to do! Wait. And so we could just go around the circle and then on top, slightly inside. Cool. And then when you reach the top, stop and just pull directly up. Yeah! Cheers. This is amazing. Look at that. Amazing. I love it, really. This is very yeah. nice. Oh, thank you. This is our cupcake. This is Ricky's, actually. It's, <laughs> it's the, the last one they got. the worst one. Um, How rude. Oh, He's so unsupportive. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan, for being with us. 
it gets better. Where are you gonna find Dan? I'm on Instagram, obviously, just like these guys. Um, there'll be a link to the recipe in the description. Come there, see, try some of my food, make some of my recipes. That makes me very happy. And check out the other video where I'll be talking about how it got better for me. If you like this video, guys, give us your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please follow, follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Bye bye. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.